We do. The legend is now joining us via VMix. What's up, Carlos? There he is. What's up? How you doing? How you doing, guys? How's everything? Hi, Carlos. Carlos, love the jerseys Hi. hanging in the background. It's awesome look. <laughs> love it. You look fit as hell, you. bro. You yeah. look fit. What are you doing? Yes. While I'm working out, I got I, I had to get surgery, and I'm gonna say something to you guys. What happened to me? Because uh, the COVID uh, hit everywhere. Uh, I gained weight almost. I went through from two thir- uh, 230 to 318. Wow. My cholesterol was high, 310. My high blood pressure was in 188. And I was uh, almost, you know, uh, almost got a heart attack twice. Oh, and wow. the doctor said, if you don't have surgery, you're going to be dying pretty soon. And I say, I said to my, 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 my daughters and my boys, they say to me, Carlos, you need to do it. Uh, we we need you. We miss you, and I, we, we don't want to miss you. We had I had two grandkids that I want to enjoy it, and I, I made that I, I made that decision to do it. And that happened a year ago, and that was the best thing that happened in my life. What's I had the sur- energy back. I got the cholesterol. What, uh, the by, uh, bypass the sur- uh, surgery in my stomach. In my stomach. bypass. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, and yeah, so, bypass. how much are you down? Yes, you look yes. incredibly thin. Right now, I'm 92 pounds down. 92 oh pounds gosh. down. I, 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 I was 318. Right now, today, I am 228. Ooh. 228. Full of energy. I'm sleeping good. Full of energy. I'm sleeping good. Uh, you know, and, and I enjoy it. And my, my friend, I can't even walk from, you know, from the hotel, from my room down. Then I was like, <sighs> I was out of, out of breath, you know. And, and I thank God that I did it. And I, everything everything is good. No, You know, no more headaches because the high blood pressure that I have. It was like costing me a lot of hair rays, stuff like that. So wow. I, I feel really yeah, good and happy. Getting, that's crazy. I'm Absolutely. here in Cleveland getting ready to that see is. the you know the Cleveland Guardians. They're playing really good right now. We are. That's in right. fact, they've won. Um, they they they've won four in a row. It's the longest winning streak of the year. They just swept the Oakland A's, which you know I know a lot of people are like. Well, it's the A's. Well, they get paid too, and it wasn't long ago they had won, I think, seven in a row or something. So they well, started to play outside baseball. of that week. They yes. won about five games all year. Yeah, but. it's been a it's been a rough year for them. Yeah. But look, those are the teams that you're supposed to win. You got to take care of business, Carlos. Yeah. You know as well as anyone that this thing is a marathon and not a sprint. The, yes. You look, you wake up, you look at the standings. They're a game out of first place, despite the fact that they haven't yes. played great baseball. How do you see the rest of the mm. season playing out for the guards? I think it's going to be really good. You know, it, it, if, if people start realize what happened last year, you remember that we start playing really good in the second half? Yeah. You know, that's what we need to do. That's what we're doing right now. We start almost the same. You know, last year we was, I, I never thought that we were going to make the playoff. First of all, on the first half, we say, no, we don't have the team to do it. The, I think, you know, the Minnesota and Chicago, I saw God, the, you know, they got the opportunity to do it. But a guy show up and did a great job. You know what? And we are playing <coughs> really good, I'm sorry, without Mackenzie. Mackenzie's right. been out almost the whole year. Sivali just came back doing really good. Bieber has been Bieber. He's been the man in there. But I think the two rookies, Allen and Bieber, those two guys are doing a great job. And we just called up two days ago our best prospect, pitching Williams. Right. So, you know, we we, we we showing everybody that we don't have to go outside to get anybody. Maybe, maybe at the trade line, I will, Gavin Williams, that's the guy that they started the other day. Yeah. But I think if we bring maybe one more hitter, we are going to be okay. Because I think our yeah. offense sometimes go away a little bit. And then when you have the closer, classes pitching like classes. Now he's on, you know, he's, he's saving the game. And, and I believe that we have the team, you know, to, comp- to compete in our division and go there and go back again to the, to the playoffs. Is this Carlos? And by the way, I played with Carlos. I was mentioning before, I played with Carlos at a charity softball game at the Lake Erie Crushers yes. Field. I don't know if you remember, but he was so nice. <laughs> he, saw, he signed autographs for all the kids. I got an autograph from my Thank son. You. I got an autograph from my friend's son. You couldn't have been nicer. You were the nicest guy there. It was, I mean, all the guys were nice, but Carlos was above and beyond the nicest guy there. It was so incredible. He was so kind to everybody. It was so fun doing that. Uh, by the way, in that game, I don't know if you remember, Travis Hafner was playing on the – I don't remember. Travis Hafner, yes. you, were, you and I yes. were on the same team. Travis Hafner came yes. up. I was playing first base for our team. Travis Hafner came up. I'm like, that's a major <laughs> league hitter. I read, stood back on the outfield. But, of course, he hit it out to right field. But, anyway, Carlos – He hit a homer. Yeah, he's yeah. a monster. But, but in terms of the Guardians, I agree with a lot of what you say. 
I I think they need at least one hitter, though. I mean, you're getting – Yes. First of all, you played on teams that had power hitters in the eight and nine spots in the lineup. This team yes. has yes. no power. Did you know that in, 2000, I, I, in 2001, yeah. Barry Bonds, at the same point this year, had about seven less home runs than the entire Guardians roster has this season? I, I don't think I've ever seen such a poor hitting power team. They need to go get a power bat. I know it's not easy, but they've got to find a way to get somebody in the corners or DH, whatever. They got to get some more power. Don't you think? Well, now we have we had Naylor is doing really good. I think yes. Brendan is getting better. He's showing everybody that, that he have you know they 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 he belong here in the big leagues. But I think we need to have one more guy coming from the bench at least helping us out. You know, from the right side because we got the race, the left side really good. You know, we when when you have Ramirez doing, you know, what Ramirez doing, Naylor having a great year. He's been the man this year. I think Naylor's been the man. He's been the clutch guy in our team. He's yep. been there, and now he's happy. He has his brother with him now. Yes. You see yeah. the way he looked the other day when when he got the base hit to you know to bring the game winning. That was something special. But I think you know. Uh, uh, we we need to have that one for that that guy they show up in there. I think we have it because Oscar Oscar Gonzalez he starts slow in triple A. Now he have like six or seven homers. He got like thirty five RBIs or something like that. I think that can be the guy that can come up and you know against the left against the lefty he can hit. You know, he can go to the you know to the lineup to help us out. But I think big key is one more hitter, but our relievers, if they do the job we are going to be okay. You know, I, I think we are going to be great. This is the division right now, Minnesota, one game. I, I don't awful. think Minnesota is playing really good right now. Yeah. They're playing awful. You know, they, they got 10 strikeouts every game. You kind of win like that. Detroit, look at Detroit. Detroit is in third place. Chicago, they was supposed to be the team that, you know, they, they, they fight with us, stuff like that. I think we have the opportunity to go to the playoff. We're playing, the, you know, the, the right way, the way we, we have to do. We need to do the little things. That's what Terry Francona says. We are not a power hitter, but if we bump, we run the bases right. We do a hit and run, stuff like that. We got to win the game. And another thing that we have to do, catch the ball. If we play good defense and good yeah. pitching, you bring a winner. You know, Carlos, you talked about, um, you know, the three pitchers, uh, you know, Allen, Bybee, and Williams. Um, there's been talk about uh, Bieber, right? Um, you said, you yes. know, they look like they got everything they need except for one bat. Do you believe, even though McKenzie looks like he's going to be out for another couple of months, and Bieber, it looks like he may be on the trade block. Do you believe that even with those two guys, you still have enough, and in, in, if they do move Bieber, Will it be for a bat today? Uh, you know what? I don't. I don't do it before. Uh, at the beginning of the season, I was thinking about it because you know we wasn't we wasn't doing the same thing that we did last year. But I think now that we are one game back, you know, you cannot let go Bieber. He's a he's a man. He's a he's the captain of the fishing stuff. You know, um, whatever he do, the young guys gonna follow that. So th I think that's he's very important in, in our, our organization. Uh, you know, and, and, and I need to keep going with him the whole way. You know, we cannot let him go because remember, we don't have Mackenzie. When you don't have Mackenzie, you know, showing these kids, you know, how to be, you know, how to prepare, how to get ready, stuff like that. You need to have Bieber. This yeah. guy, three, you know, is 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 a side young guy, triple crown. He know what he's doing. You know, he he he, he come to the ballpark early. He work out. He show this kid, you know, how to prepare for the game. You, you cannot be without him. You cannot win without him. And I think it's going to be the best thing that's going to happen. I hope, I hope, you know, that we keep him, that, that he stay with us, and we can go all the way, and we can go back to the playoffs. And this year, I don't know if it's going to be the Yankees. Whoever it is, we got to go to the World Series. I hope I that happens and show everybody that we can do it. I, I mean, that. I think overall it's an exciting time in baseball. There's, almost every team is, is in the mix. I mean, both central divisions are pretty bad. The AL Central may be the worst division I've ever seen in my life through the halfway point of yes. the season. Yes. I mean, it's horrible. But there's yeah. a lot of interesting contending teams. Like, Arizona's good this year for the first time. The Marlins Whoa. with no payroll. Really Baltimore, who started to turn the corner last year, <laughs> they've been excellent. I mean, you see yeah. it all. San Francisco's yeah. one night, had one night in a row. Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Cincinnati. 11 Cincinnati. in a row. I mean, you've wow. got some interesting teams right wow. now. I know. Cincinnati's It's a fun great. year. It's, you know what? I, I, 
I say at the beginning of the season, I say to everybody, this is going to be a crazy year. You're going to see things that never, you know, in the last 10 years haven't been closer, you know, to even the third place, showing up and showing everybody the talent, the young talent that they have. And this is why, you know, I think we start everything. I think everybody copied the Cleveland Guardians. That's right. What we did last year, bringing up 22 players, young players, to the buildings. I think everybody copied that. I said, you know what? We're going to follow that. We're going to, you know, we're going to believe in the young players. And as Cincinnati is doing it, Arizona is doing it. The Pirates. Yeah. The Pirates are in third place right now. Right. No, nobody picks the Tigers, you know, the Pirates. Texas, Texas also. No, Texas, Texas, no, because Rangers Texas spent some season. money. But they, but they spent some money. They spent yeah. some money yeah, there. They, you know, yeah, the short yeah, stuff, yeah. the Grom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm curious, Carlos. You were a great hitter when you played, obviously. I, I, Luis Arise. He had been on the Twins for many years. They <laughs> trade him to Miami. I don't know what his batting average is of this morning. I think it was 398 going into yesterday. 398, 398, 398. I am rooting yes. for this guy to hit 400. I want it to happen so bad. He is like 60 wow. points ahead of anybody else. This kid's amazing. He is, he is amazing. You know, I want you to check in the minor leagues. He hit 326 in the minor league. Never under 300. Always yeah. bring, you know, over uh, over 300. And, it, you know, since the first day that he stepped up in the minor leagues, he's been hitting 300 everywhere. Great he's a special guy. But I don't think yeah, it's, it's going to be it's going to happen uh, to hit 400. Hard. He's so hard. The last one was 82 years ago and was Ted Williams. You know, the last one. You know, and we have 400, yeah. George Brett. And we got George Brett, we got yep. Tony Wynn, we had Way Box, we got Ichiro. They had 10 years in a row over 200 hits. And That's the right. best year, 262 year, uh, yeah. hits. You know, Larry so Walker it's going to be hard. Close you know, to one to time. Larry Walker came yeah. I think yeah. Brett was the yeah. closest. Brett hit yeah. 388 one year. Well, wasn't and, Gwynn over 390, but that was the strike season. Yeah, but I'm saying yeah. for a full season, yeah. at the end of the year, George Brett, I think, is the closest to come – to four, yeah. four Rod Carew also came. Rod close had a one couple year. of big years, but you know yeah. what? The game has changed, Carlos. It's now it's even a, harder. It's such a swing and miss game now, too. Where back <laughs> in the day, there was a real yeah. priority on putting the bat on the ball and making contact. What have you? What do you think of the shift from the all or nothing approach? You go up there, try to hit a home run. If you strike out, so what? I don't like it because you know why yeah. I don't like it. I was a guy. I was a guy that I have power. I have power. But I consider myself a land right hitter. You know, I, I, got, I hit 20, 22 homers. At the beginning, you know, a second baseman doesn't, don't hit those kind of numbers. That's why, you know, I was a special guy. You know, when, when I started doing that in the American League, everybody said, wow, we have a power guy. No, 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 no. I'm a land right hitter, and I want to consider myself always as a contact hitter. But you know what? Something that they missing in the game they love strikeout. I don't like strikeout. I if it. you put the ball in play, something can happen. And that's why the other day, you know, there, there was an interview on MLB Network, and they was talking about, do you want to have a guy that win the body champion or you want to have a guy that have on base percentage? And I say, that's a wrong question. Because if the guy win the body champion, that means he's going to be the guy that most <laughs> of the time he's going to be on base. So that's right. That, you get that, one with that, both. That question was, I you, know. So you have, a, you have everything in there. So I, I love the guy that hit 280. But give me 30 homers and give me 100 RBIs. That's the guy that I want in my team. You know who's that guy? Jose Ramirez. He That's is, yeah. Jose Ramirez. Yeah, a you're guy that right. every year put the numbers in there and always show up at the last day of the season. Always got 100 RBIs. Always had over 20, 25, 30 home runs or something like that. That's a player that I love. That's a superstar for me. So I, I think, you know, what Luis Ara is showing everybody is those kind of players are very important. You know who are, we used to have that. We used to have Kenny Lofton, Omar Biscale. That's sure. why I got 100 RBIs almost every year because I got those two guys. And the thing is, the stolen base is coming back it this is. year. Oh, yeah, now you can still base it, you know. Yeah, yeah the kid yeah, on yeah. Uh, Oakland's got, almost got 50. 40 steals already. No, I, th- I thought he was at 50 already. I don't think he's at 50. Yeah, yeah. So, I thought he we'll had a double check. He's getting crazy. Yeah. By the way, you know, yeah. you know what that reminds me of? I got to make sure I'm right about this stat. Carlos, you he may got, remember this. No, Jay, I'll ask you this question, too. 39 steals. Okay. 39. Who's the yeah, last? I think yeah. he's the last player. I know he did it. But I, who yeah. is a player played in the 90s uh, and the 80s who had 100 ribbies but did not hit 10 home runs? Oh, my God. I'll give God. you the exact year he did it. Did he play for the Cardinals? What year? Tommy Herr. 
Nice job. Yeah. Tommy Her. That. Remember Tommy, Tommy Her? Her? Wow. Tommy Her. In wow. 19, wow. what wow. year was oh, it? That's... In 19. I'd say it was either got... early 90s or late, late. It was 85. Yeah, okay, okay. He, he buy, had eight he home runs computers. and 110 uh-huh. ribbies. Eight and 110. I love that. I love that. I'm like, well, in, in 1995, in 1995, that I got hurt the, la- the last part of the season, yeah. I finished, I think, with 15 homers, 90 RBIs. Those are, you know, guys yeah. that bring RBIs, that's very important for me. That's right. And I need to, we need to talk, we need to show this to our young players. Yeah. Don't let that guy in third base. Don't let that guy in second base. Don't strike out. Put the ball in play. If you that's put right. the ball in play, something can happen. But if you strike out, what is all about? You know, last year I love the we had the base. best. Look, I think it's look, fun. Look at the difference of this team that we have this year or last year. We last year we lead the league in contact, putting the ball in play. Yes. This year we strike out a lot at the beginning. Now we're changing a little bit. Now we're making contact. That's why we are winning more games right now because we are making more contact. And I think we're gonna be okay. We, I think Jimenez is gonna have a big second half. Uh, Rosario start uh-huh. hitting. Ramirez is hitting right now too. So we got Naylor, we got Brennan. They're doing a great job. We need to get my Stroud, you know, to keep make him a little bit more contract. And Quan is gonna be the man. If Quan get on base, the other guy's gonna get RBI. So we're gonna be really good. And I think that you know the the maybe you know what? Do you guys think that we should bring a catcher or not? Or we stay with the catchers that we have? Well, you know, I want to give Bo we, Naylor a real shot. I do too because yeah. Carlos, we we okay. tried that. We went out and we thought we answered that question with Zanino, and I that know. was an epic fail. And no. at some point in time, very Bo bad. Naylor I'm very is, happy. I'm very I, happy. That I am too. I think Bo. Let's give him the reins to the team. I like his maturity. Yeah. I clearly yeah. like his bloodline. I mean, his brothers are. You know, he, yeah. he comes from a baseball yeah. family. And I know he was struggling to get that first hit, but you know how this goes, Carlos. A lot of times when rookies get called up and they struggle and they're, you know, now they're 0 for 20 or 0 for 22, a lot of times that first hit opens the floodgates. And I think that's going to happen. Bo Naylor's a professional hitter. Yeah. He's hit at every level. Yeah. And I think Honor. he'll hit here. I and, personally And, and he know he know the pitching stuff. He knows yes. the pitching stuff. So they're because all young. he come from the minor league, he yeah. got these guys. So I believe that's a good move for uh, for organization. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna I be agree. okay. We are going back I to the playoffs. But I want the fans to come to the ballpark. Yeah. We have three games this this weekend against Milwaukee, a team that's fighting for first and second place. You know, in the in the in the Central League. So we need to we need to come up and sh- and I help this guy, please. Please. Yes, turn out to yeah. the ballpark. Yeah, it's, I want to see. I know you like him. I want to see. I think at the end of the season. They need to move on from Miles Straw, move Quan to center field, and go get a power hitting corner outfield. Well, we could use more power. In the yeah, outfield. I mean, I can't. If I, I could live with Straw as my center fielder, if I got a great lineup, I can't when my lineup is not great and doesn't have any power. That's how I see it. Yeah, you need some production for yeah. the outfield. Maybe, yeah. uh, Carlos, before we let you go, and um, I know this might be tough for you, I'll give you my favorite Carlos Baerga memory. I and I know you had some big ones in the playoff <laughs> games, but. I love the yeah. fact that you homered from both sides of the plate in in the same inning. That's something That's so that cool. it it's just up. it's yeah. unbelievable. But I'm wondering what is your snapshot memory, your snapshot moment from your incredible big league career, and you played in some huge games with this organization. What is your moment? Well, I, 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 I had a couple because that one is a big one. That was the first one that I realized. Wow. I have that kind of that, that you know I, I I have that kind of career you know to start you know my my you know my 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 Billy career you know stuff like that that was something special you know to put that record the two homers in the same inning the second one was they get to get hundred RBIs hundred runs uh, twenty homers two hundred hit I hit three hundred I did it two years in a row wow I I, I I still the only one in the American League to do it I still doing that I still the only one the only second best one and the first, the, that's two more. The, the, the one of them was making the All-Star game. The first, my first All-Star game was special for me. It was something that I'm never going to forget about. Show up in that clubhouse and yes. see Roger Clemens, Wade Box, Gary Ricken, all my idols. Right. Mm-hmm. When I was a young kid, when I signed, that, that was my idol. I want to be like this guy. I want to be like this guy. And I was in the same clubhouse. I look up to the sky and I say, wow, this is real. That was something special. <laughs> and the last one that I really like was when I went three for three that I hit a homer against Randy Johnson in the playoffs 
that we went to the World Series. Mm. That yeah. was something that I'm never going to forget about. Man. That's something very special, Man. very nice. Oh, real great. real quick, Carlos, I've got to get your opinion I, before you go. Last thing. Uh, have you heard the story about what's going on with Wander Franco in Tampa Bay? Uh, yes, I heard that yesterday. I don't like it. You don't I like don't it. like it because no, I don't like what the manager did. Okay. Because I always I'm I manage I manage in the league in Puerto Rico. I'm a coach for the national team, you know, you know, baseball class and stuff like that. Yeah. And always they, I, I, I always say to the players, you know what, I'm gonna give you respect. I want the same respect for me. I'm never gonna show you up in, in, in you know in, in front of the you know the of the cameras, in front of the press or anything like that. Everything that's why I like Tito Francona. Tito always fight for his players, and I never he never let anybody know what happened in the clubhouse. So that's why I, I don't like what Catch did. You know what happened uh, two years ago when to, uh, when to, uh, Tony La Rosa yeah. show and and, and uh, uh, I, I don't know if the name was Jeremy Mercedes that he say something about him that happened with him, yeah. and that's why he wanted to say what happened with that team. Everybody went down. Tanked, what yeah. happened to? Uh, yeah, what happened to the Cardinal this year? Paul O'Neill, something happened that he don't score from second base. The manager went up and you know on camera and say he don't run the bases are we are gonna see him down and stuff like that. You don't do that. You talk to him, you know, inside the clubhouse and then you show up. What happened with the Cardinals right now? They're in last place. Yep. They have well, a problem Carlos, inside the clubhouse. Let me play devil's advocate for a second because I, I obviously really respect your opinion and and I respect Cash, too. And you, you say that Tito is a player's manager. And I think Cash is a lot like yes. Tito. Obviously, he's a Tito disciple. But how do we know? That's why that, he surprised me. That's right, why he but, surprised me. Because but, uh -huh, uh -huh. how do we know, Carlos, that Cash didn't try that with Franco once or twice or three times? And maybe he's just now at the last resort where he's saying, I've got to do something to get this kid's attention because what I've done hasn't been working so far. That seems to be a possibility, at least, right? Well, everybody, that's nobody. I haven't heard anything about Wander Franco in his first three years of his career. I never have heard anything. I know him. I know his father. Wow. I know his family, where he's coming from. So he's a good kid. I haven't heard anything. Wow. Anything, you know, and, and you know, and I have to say, something that I always said to the like you know i work for the for the cleveland Guardians, and i go down to you know to the you know to the minor leagues and when i go down to spring training stuff like that things that i say to the players is be careful you know what outside the field inside the field respect you have a responsibility with that with that name of the cleveland Guardians. so you know what you have to have you have to know what you do you know uh, you know it, it can cost you you, you, you career, it can cost you, you know, it's so many things that can happen. Yeah. And I never heard anything bad about this kid. So maybe, maybe you saying something that, you know, that we can look out. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask maybe yeah. next time that I come back here, I'm going to let you guys know. That's awesome. And Thanks, listen, bro. you know, him. you're speaking from a, a, a point Great of player. knowledge. Great yeah. player. He's a wonderful player. Yeah. I, yeah. Carlos, like you, I'm fascinated now to see yeah. what dynamic, how the dynamic changes of the Rays, because I don't know. Typically, when this happens, there are teammates that yeah. are unhappy. It, but the yeah. language that caught my yeah. attention was he hasn't been a good teammate. So I'm wondering, was there a no. was there a, a fracturing of the clubhouse yeah. where some of the players wow. were coming and saying something to Cash, where Cash felt he had to wow. do this? Wow. I don't know. That's I'm, why I'm curious to see to, the fallout. We need to check. Yeah. We need but to you check. Know what? Yeah, we need to check that out. Yeah. We'll find out. We'll, we'll, we'll look at the win loss uh, right. column, and if this team starts to fall apart. Um, then yes. that that might be the reason why. You well, know, their the best pitcher also just got hurt last Yeah, that night, doesn't so. help them, yeah. yeah. Hey, Carlos, we love yeah. you. You're the well, best, awesome. Carlos. I'm, we're thrilled Thank that you. you're, that you're you healthy. All the best. Yes, you look yes. great. Keep yes. going, buddy, and uh, going we'll thing. see you at the World Series, man. Thanks, Carlos. We'll see you again Thank soon. Thank you. I'll see you guys tonight. i see you guys tonight in the ballpark, okay? At Let's the go. ballpark. Very good. Let's go. Thanks, Thank you, Carlos. Carlos makes a good point.